Are you a homeschooling parent looking for a pre-algebra course? Well, if you are, you definitely want to pay attention to this video because this is a type of problem that your child needs to be able to understand at the pre-algebra level. So what we have here is 3 times 2x plus 4 minus 5x, and we want to evaluate this expression for x is equal to negative 3. Now, I am the teacher of all my courses, and I call my program Tablet Class Math, and I offer a full comprehensive homeschool pre-algebra course amongst uh, other courses. You can check out the links to all these courses in the description. But uh, essentially, this little video is kind of a sample video to see if you like my teaching style. I've been teaching math for decades, and the way I teach is very step-by-step. -step because I want to make sure that each student that takes one of my courses really understands the material. Okay, so once again, we have 3 times 2x plus 4 minus 5x. We want to evaluate this expression right here for the value x is equal to negative 3. Okay, so here is our problem. Again, we want to evaluate this expression, this algebraic or variable expression for this value x is equal to negative 3. So you can see here, we have this variable x in this expression. Now, this is not an equation. It's called an expression in algebra. Now, what I can do here is erase this equal sign because we're not setting this variable expression equal to a value like, say, 7. All right, so if we had this situation, this would be called an equation. But really what we have is this, and we're trying to determine the value of all of this when x is equal to negative 3. So this is called evaluating in algebra. And effectively, what we're going to do is replace these x's right here for this value and then simplify the remaining numeric expression. So when we have this numeric expression that we're going to have here in a second, when we replace uh, x with negative 3, well, then we need to be able to use our order of operations and positive and negative number skills in order to simplify the problem. So you definitely want to put away your calculator. And if you think you could do this or think your child could do this, maybe you want to pause the video and have them work through it step by step and put their answer into the comment section. But let's take a look at the critical thing that we need to do to get this problem going. So the first thing that we want to do is to plug in this value x is equal to negative 3, we're going to replace these variables or plug in this value into this variable x here, the value negative 3. But the key here is that when you are evaluating, when you are replacing a variable with a specific numeric value, you want to use parentheses, right? This is critical. All right, so the first step that we should take is the following. We're going to replace these x's with negative 3 but we're going to put that negative three in parentheses. So we're gonna write this right here. So we're gonna have three times, or parentheses, two times this negative three in parentheses, plus four, parentheses, uh, minus five times this negative three in parentheses. Okay, so if you understand this, well then right here is essentially a numeric arithmetic problem. So to get this right without a calculator, you're gonna to have to understand positive and negative numbers and the order of operations. So the first thing that we need to do here to simplify this numeric expression is to think about the order of operations. And that means we need to look for any parentheses in the problem. Okay, so we have parentheses right here. And of course, the negative three is in parentheses as well. But effectively, what we need to do is to go to these parentheses and simplify this numeric expression in the parentheses first in order to kind of take this problem to the next step. Now, why are we doing this? Well, let me go ahead and just quickly tell you what uh, hopefully your child or student has learned about the order of operations. We're talking about this little acronym right here called PEMDAS, right? So you need to understand PEMDAS. And this is a checklist that we take from left to right. So the first thing that we're going to do is to see if our problem has any parentheses. And if it does, we're going to start there. And the key here is to understand that this parentheses is really grouping symbols. Now, if you happen to have parentheses inside of other brackets or 
uh, other parentheses, the way this works is you start uh, with the innermost parentheses and work your way out. So in this uh, situation right here, we have negative three in parentheses, but there's nothing to do. So that means we're gonna have to focus right here. Now, not every problem is going to have parentheses, so you can kind of skip that step if you don't have that, but let's just quickly go through the rest of PEMDAS just to make sure you understand. All right, so uh, again, you're gonna start with any parentheses. E stands for exponents, but you can think of this as powers. So when you have a power like two to the third power, this little three right there is called an exponent. So if you have any powers, you're going to do that next. Now, the next thing is M and D. This stands for multiplication and division. A and S stands for addition and subtraction. But the next thing that we're gonna do is to see if we have any multiplication and division. And if we do, we're going to do any multiplication and division from left to right. So in other words, we're not just gonna do multiplication and then division, because if we have division and then multiplication from left to right, this is the order we're going to do it. But if we have multiplication then division like this, from left to right, we would do the multiplication first. And then once we're done with that, we'll finish up with any addition and subtraction from left to right. Okay, so that is the order of operations. And of course, we also need to know how to deal with positive and negative numbers. But let's go ahead and simplify this problem. So obviously, we need to start with these parentheses right here. So we're gonna focus in and we have multiplication and addition, all right? So we have a number outside of another, another number like this, this means multiplication. So two times negative three is what? Well, positive times a negative is a negative. So two times negative three is a negative six. And of course we have to add that to four. So negative six plus four is negative two. All right, now if you don't understand any of this stuff, I review all of this in my pre-algebra course, all right? So, but these are things that you definitely need to understand at the pre-algebra level. But uh, hopefully this makes sense. All right, so we kind of finished up the parentheses part of this problem. And at this stage, what do we have? Well, this right here is multiplication. So we have three times negative two, and we also have this five times this negative three. But this part right here, this subtraction sign, uh, often uh, confuses a lot of students. So I'm gonna show you how to address that right now. Okay, so now we're down to multiplication, all right? So this is multiplication here, this is multiplication here, and this is subtraction. So we have to handle multiplication before we do any subtraction or addition. And an easy way to uh, think of this problem is to change this subtraction sign into an addition sign. So when you have something like six minus seven, you could think of this as six plus a negative seven. This is often a good technique not to get confused with a difference, um, a difference operation or a subtraction operator, okay? So this is just a good little tip here, but if you are confused in terms of uh, the sign of this number, just turn it into addition, and now we clearly have negative five times negative three and three times negative two. Okay, so once again, a positive times a negative is a negative, so three times negative two is negative six. A negative times a negative is a positive, so negative five times negative three is a positive 15. And then lastly, we uh, simply have to add these numbers. Negative six plus a positive 15 is a positive nine. Okay, so hopefully, this makes sense, and if you like my explanation here, well then you will love my pre-algebra course because no one learns math by quick little fast tutorials and uh, like one little short lesson and then a bunch of problems that you have to do with no full explanation. So in my program, I give a thorough lesson step by step and then I cover a lot of problems with full video step-by-step -step solutions, right? That is the way to learn mathematics. And if you're interested in my homeschool program, check out the link in uh, the description of this video. You'll see other courses there just in case you have other children. So I cover pre-algebra, uh, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and pre-calculus. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your homeschooling adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.